question. Why has no American police force tried fighting crime with old-timey fashion? It's a good question, right? Because it, apparently it works pretty well in the cape. I don't trust that man in the cowboy hat. <laughs> Joining me now, Summer Glow, everybody. Yay! How are you, Summer? Hey. I'm great. Fantastic. How are you? I'm doing, uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing much better now, thank you. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough. Um, your character on the cape, do you think this will uh, spark a sort of new trend of, of crime-fighting bloggers out there? Because you're... I hope so. It's working for me so far. Yeah, you're sort of like you're, you're sort of like WikiLeaks in a dress, right? Your character, you pretty much you disseminate all the info that everybody's afraid to talk about or doesn't get. Yeah, well, she has her she has to keep her identity hidden, and this is the way that she has found for herself to fight back. Maybe not the best idea to fire questions at the dude you're trying to stay hidden from, <laughs> ten feet away from him. Does your character know that that's probably a unsafe? Mask. That's true. You did have a mask on. That's how we do Very it. Very concealing. Um, your character Orwell is this sort of uh, this big mystery, even in the show. Do you know your character's backstory and, and and what's going on at all? I've tried every every way I can to get information out of Tom, but I thought I knew. Are they just? <laughs> do they, I'm do on they, to you, Tom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knows what's up and then just mixes it up. Um, <laughs> Do you, I mean, so week by week, you must, you, you're, are, you, are you sort of driving blind, or do they say, well, he, he, this could be a potential reveal, use this in a scene, you know? Well, I, they do give me a few hints, but as an mm. actor, you always, if, if you don't know, then you just create it and, right. and uh, for yourself, and so I do a little bit of both, but it is exciting on script day, you know, when we get, when we get our scripts delivered to find out what we're going to be doing, and it's, it's never exactly what I expected. Do you immediately flip to the last page to make sure you're still you're still good for the next episode? Always. Because that's I mean you have to, right? Always. You got to read it from the back just yeah. to make sure. Um, now fans of, of Firefly are called the, they were the brown coats, right? And exactly. Now the cape. Do you guys do they do? Are there capers out there? Are there <laughs> cape worms? Are they handy capable or is that's there anything? <laughs> I, well, I mean, has, has there been a term capers. for them? Capers. I like capers. Capers is good, right? Yeah, like and, they're and throwing delicious. capers. <laughs> that's very true. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. But there's no there's no sort of nickname yet, is there? No. I think we've just found a new contest. I think we have to Creative. crowdsource and Twitter source, <laughs> so that way no one will ever be happy with it, especially if they decided it. That's how the internet works. Um, because you're, you're, you're you know you don't you're not on, on Twitter or anything like that. Do you do you have any idea of like the the the, 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 the fans and the level of, of nerddom? Because I know you go to the Comic Cons and the Dragon Cons of the world, yes. right? Yes, yes, I love going. I love going and saying thank you in person. And then you lo you gotta love leaving right after, right? <laughs> like right at, like a quick hello. Because I've seen like you, you're a phenomenon when you sweep in there. I've seen the lines form. Really? Oh yeah. I've heard, yeah! You you posed with half of them. Thank you. You've shaken many a sweaty hand. I know <laughs> it. I know you have. I have. My hands are sweaty too. I get. I get really nervous. Because of the fans. I would yeah. too if I was looking out at the sea of those guys. Yeah. Because you want you want people to to you want to be what people hope you are. Right. And expect you know. Like so a crime fighting blogger, or because they built you up. Because <laughs> exactly, you have you have, have you have tackled mystery. every sort of like kind of hot or empowered nerd role that that has come out there. Are you seeking those out or? Exactly. Really? <laughs> I'm really. <laughs> there, uh, there was an internet meme. Uh, there's like you know, sad Keanu or Lol Cats or the double rainbow guy has a meme. You had one with your Dragon Con photos. I don't know if you saw that. It was the combo breaker, which is you posing with all of those fans, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> smile, 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 boom! <laughs> that guy. That guy. There. Hold on. Let's, what? What's that? I look scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, you know, sometimes people ask for specific uh, expressions. And so he, I think he asked for my Terminator face. Oh, oh he's, he said, give me Terminator face? And, that's and it. you obliged. And boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice of you to, to give for the fans. Like, do they ever request, like, a blue steel or uh, give me a half wink and a nod and a drool or something like that? Do you have There's a. There's very few times that I have to say, oh, I don't, I don't do that one. Right. Yeah. You, sometimes you got to draw the line. So, there the is Terminator a line face was somewhere. sweet, though. The combo breaker was nice. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> you were also in a, a Knights of Bad Astem, which will be coming out uh, shortly. Yes. Um, I'm a huge Joe Lynch fan. And, Me too. And in it, you had to learn how to LARP? Yes. We went, we went to LARPing class. I didn't know there was a school it's for dangerous. LARPing. It's dangerous. What, what did you discover? I discovered that the most diabolical one will always win. You know, like the one that's willing to go in there and just show no fear. Well, you, you have to be fearless. They'll win at fighting with foam swords, maybe not at life. 
Let's. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so, oh, that was our 12 viewers <laughs> clicking off. No, I'm sorry. Did you enjoy it? Would you ever LARP on the I weekends? I love it. Or? I love it. I don't, I don't, I wasn't the best one. Um, and uh, I, I had to try to keep up with the boys because there were some really, there, there were some really good LARPers. Some dudes swinging and swords. And it also depends on, on which weapon you get. I had a double, I had double swords because I thought choice. that's what looked good for me. And, and um, but there were different weapons. Like I didn't get an ax this time and I got a little jealous. Like one guy had a full body sword that was as tall as he is. And so he could just stand like and he Final could just, Cloud just spin swing in a, and yeah, he yeah. just spin in a circle and you know, how, that how you That seems like in cheating there, and right? LARPing. That's, that doesn't seem fair at all. <laughs> well, I would call this yield helicopter move. <laughs> and then just mowing down a field of trolls. It was really hard to figure out how to beat him. That's totally BS. You should, at the next meeting at the IHOP, you should take it up with him <laughs> and let him know that that shouldn't be allowed. I but need more classes. <laughs> <laughs> Summer, I would watch you LARP any day. So thank you so much for coming on the program. It was a pleasure to chat with you. Summer Glow, everybody. Uh, you guys catch an episode of The Cape. It's actually tonight on NBC. Watch out for Foam Swords. Stay tuned, there's more tech coming up.